Yeah, this is my office and my home. My name is Matthias Nilsson. I work as a sales engineer within Subtech. So my role in the company is to support the sales organization with a lot of technical knowledge and a little bit fill the gap between technical development and the sales organization. I have been here for one and a half year now uh, almost, but I worked within the industry for many more years, of course, and actually worked with Subtech products before I started here as well. I do a lot of traveling in my role, so there is a lot of meetings abroad, site visits and that type of things, and meeting a lot of new clients in, in new countries that we are entering, onboarding them, and a lot of things like that. It was actually uh, Subtech in Sweden that introduced me to their products, and I really loved uh, the Subtech Pro, was it at that? time point that was on the market and I really loved the product from the first moment. I, I still think that Subtech Pro is a really special product that makes my heart beat a little bit harder of course but <laughs> yeah, probably because that I'm a more or less charging geek or something like that. that I, I really love EV charging and totally dedicated to this and um, it's a part of a hobby almost for me to do this investigations about new products, even competitors and things like that. Also, the Subtech Go is really nice and the ecosystem with Portal and the cloud that we have. I think it's, it's a little bit special if you compare to other products on the market. Yeah, here we have the Subtech Pro. This is something that I always carry with me on my trips all around Europe. Yeah, the most common question about Subtech Pro is actually about our patent pace balancing. Everybody wants to know how this really works. What we are doing here is like, we use the available power as much as possible within within the circuit by switching the vehicles from three phase to one phase and from one phase to three phase during a charging session. I think today the fast charging infrastructure is quite big or well built in many countries, but I feel sometimes that there is a lack of destination charging in places like hotels and companies that you're visiting. And I think that expansion of the infrastructure, that part needs to expand a little bit. It's very focused on building the fast charging infrastructure today. The thing I like the most with my role today is uh, that I, I have the ability to see the EV adoption all over Europe. It's really interesting to see uh, in what different stages different countries are and so on. It, you can see very much similarities uh, from the Nordic countries, but they are way behind us. 